Stephen D. Morning. Good is an exaggeration. The wind has just about died down enough for us to speak for five seconds. This is really miserable walking conditions. Big shout out to Heidi. She's a lot stronger than me. I would have turned back. Well, I wouldn't call that a shout out. I might have made a bum call because I was too scared to face the riches we had come up yesterday in as strong a wind as it was this morning because it nearly blew me off yesterday. Last so, night it was around 50 miles an hour. Said it was 71 kilometers an hour. The yeah, wind. that's so rough. I think it's just around that's 50. That's just under 50, yeah. Um, I mean, our tent was fine. The little sheltered spot we had was great, but yeah, I might have made a really bum call saying let's carry on. We're aiming for a campsite in 14 and a half miles, which is described as sheltered. But of course there's always the question, sheltered in what conditions? And also how many other people are in front of us having made the same bum call to carry on and are aiming for the same thing, so. <laughs> ah, Southern California, for real? It's colder than Scotland. <laughs> there he is again. Scotland is not the worst place on earth. I know. Well, you expect it in Scotland. That's true. And there will be a pub within I mean, sort of 10 or 15 miles. <laughs> I should be wearing a t-shirt, sunglasses and everything. <laughs> it's nice and warm. Look at that. There's even sunshine over there. Probably not the direction we're going in. <laughs> But there's Hope, and there's Brian, there's always Brian. Nope, that is not the smoke from our coffee pot. I wish it was. Found ourselves a minimal shelter for the bush, trying to make coffee. I'm feeling sorry for ourselves. It's a strange little meadow, especially in the mist. I don't know, you can see the, the flowers everywhere and the moss on the side. It's very pretty. It'd be twice as pretty in sunshine, of course. getting flashes of uh, sunshine and views but flashes is all it is and then this stuff drifts in again. It's really really miserable walking today. It's cold. It's not raining as such but the uh, that mist is damp so you end up wet anyway. And there's just no end in sight. Except though on those hills but we're not over there. Nope. We didn't make it to the 14 mile one. We pulled up just after the Golden Oak Spring. The water source we were originally aiming for. Because it was already 4 o'clock. I mean, we've got nowhere today. Hiking against the wind in this cold is... It just saps your energy. So we found... saw this spot. Thought it's relatively wind still and just called it. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. <coughs> we didn't bring enough clothes. <laughs> no one told us it's going to be winter. <laughs> so because we had a little footage today, I thought I'll show you what we, how we cook. Well, it's obvious, heat up the water. Um, we soak everything in these pots so we don't put food food in the pot ever. That's just boiling water. Well our ramen and mash is in here and there and then we just put the hot water on like now when it's bubbling. And when we come out of town we always bring some fresh veg with us. Cucumbers which are really really hard and solid. Tomatoes which survive well because they're in they, we store them in one of the pots. We have some peppers that we've cut up and put in there. And we, are, we usually bring some apples as well, just to 
boost our vitamins a bit. And um, yeah, that tends to be what we have every night, ramen bomb. Somebody calls this. I don't actually know where that name comes from. <laughs> Do you know who came up with that name? Pasty. Well, pa it's so cold today. Oh yeah. The whole world's gone hard. This is olive oil, believe it or not. It's solid. Absolutely solidified. <laughs> That's how cold it was today. Or oh, still is now. Another shorter than intended day, so I'll set off from our campsite. Yep. In freezing temperatures. Yes. It was, I mean, we actually, part, part of the reason why we didn't get that far today was it was so cold this morning we did not want to get up. I let the alarm ring about, yeah, for an hour and a half, I think, I did. Kept repeating his little song. It just was too cold. I bet it got colder and colder and colder the longer we waited, so eventually we just had to get up. But yeah, we set off bright and early, ha uh ha. -huh. And um, just guessed our way through the fog for most of it. It was... Uh, it should have been really... I mean, this is a section... Uh, please don't let me put you off this section. This is a section that should be really pretty. It just is, at the moment, really unpleasant conditions, but you can still see it's nice and wooded areas. And where the wood is, it's nice and sheltered as well, so that we, we got out of the wind quite quickly. Um, then you join this <coughs> unpaved road for 4.4 miles, it says. They're the longest 4.4 miles in history. That road doesn't end, mainly because it is probably one of the nastiest surfaces we've walked on on the PCT. I mean, it's just unpleasant. Really, really rocky, uh, really sort of cantered. And because it's a road, there's been people driving through it, obviously, so, so one half is like lower than the other, and it's just, uh, yeah. And it just goes on and on and on and on and on until we eventually leave it again. And continue with what was a pretty bridge walk. Um, we did pick up water probably around here, I'd say. It must obviously be one of those seasonal streams that doesn't normally run, but, you know, with all the weather we've had, the one good thing is that seasonal strings are running. Strings? Springs, even, and uh, streams are running. So we picked up the water and carried it on. So, so when we got to uh, Golden Oaks Spring, we didn't actually need to fill up because we literally just finished filling up. And, um, yeah. As I said, we managed to get about half a mile past Golden Oak Springs. And we are now at 5.83.7, so somewhere here. Windmills are just over there on the hill, as you saw. Sorry, this hill. And that's us for the day, and hopefully tomorrow we can um, get into the double... Well, this is double figures just about, but into proper double figures.